Well, Grandfather Mountain is hosting close to 30,000 visitors for the Highland Games. A lot of these people will camp outside, and, and obviously this time of year, severe weather like we're having can be an issue. Our Dave Faraday is live with more on the games and, of course, how folks are dealing with the chance of weather. Dave? Scott, if you look behind me, you can see the large crowd that has gathered already here on Grandfather Mountain. What you can see back in those woods, hundreds and hundreds of campers on the mountainside. They are ready for a lot of fun this weekend, but also the possibility of stormy weather. The Grandfather Mountain Highland Games showcase several of the Scottish traditions, from the music and dancing to the athletic events themselves. But it is the weather that got everyone's attention after heavy rain fell overnight. Yesterday it was horrible here with the weather because I left Scotland when it was raining and came over here thinking I'd get lovely sunshine, but yesterday I didn't. Yeah. I got thunderstorms. For much of the day, the rain held off in the North Carolina high country, but in campgrounds in Avery County, they were prepared for more storms. Today we could see tarps around several of the campsites. There are more than 100 clans that are here for the games. Many of them returned year after year to reconnect with family members, rain or shine. It's just one big happy family. It's the camaraderie is what, you, what you're going to love here. 2013 was a big washout. And, uh, but you know what, it's just good old Scottish weather. Yeah, weather can be a huge issue, especially with the Highland wrestling. You get out there and it gets muddy and it gets slick. Everyone here is hoping the wet weather stays away this weekend. If you come, be prepared for a quick shower and to see a lot of folks wearing kilts. It's no different than walking around with a pair of shorts on. It's all right with your wife. She prefers that I not do it anywhere but up here at the games. And the other big attraction at the food vendors. I don't know if you could hear it behind me or not, but they're actually uh, using the bagpipes there down at the Highland Games.